A couple of weeks ago on Twitter, I engaged with a young man, uh, early 20s, who was expressing how proud he was of his generation for being so much more accepting of LGBTQ people than all the previous generations. When I pointed out to him that it was because of the work of people in previous generations that he and his peers were so accepting, he was kind of surprised by that concept. Surprised and actually interested in learning more. He, he didn't disagree. And so I thought I would spend some time over the next month, given it's Pride Month, sharing some of the history of LGBTQ people in sports. We don't talk enough about our history. Our history is not taught in schools. And so I figured that I'd do a series of videos highlighting some of those incredible pioneers in sports. I'm gonna to start today with two men in professional sports before a lot of you are even bored, or even your parents were bored. The first one is Dave Cope. When Outsports named its most important moments in LGBTQ sports history a few years ago, Dave Cope's coming out was number one. In 1975, Dave Cope was a retired NFL player. He had played for the Green Bay Packers and the Washington Redskins, uh, uh, the San Francisco 49ers, and a couple of other teams. And he had retired a couple of years earlier. And he came out publicly in 1975, in part because nobody else was doing it. He became the first former athlete in, in big pro sports to come out. A couple of years later in 1977, he wrote an autobiography that became a bestseller. Dave's courage helped really ignite a conversation in the 70s about homosexuality in America. The concept of a gay athlete was Im impossible. A gay NFL player and a guy like Dave who was, who was big and tough and known for hard hits was, was completely foreign. At the time, the NFL's head of security said that gay men were a threat to the league's security. So the idea of Dave coming out, even a couple years after he retired, was just shocking. And Dave, over the years, shared the identities of a couple of his teammates who were gay, one of them being Jerry Smith. Jerry Smith uh, is a former tight end with the Washington Redskins who should be in the Hall of Fame. Dave's coming out, uh, you know, he talked about dating Jerry, uh, when, when <laughs> or being intimate with Jerry at least while they were on the team together. These concepts that we think they're foreign today, they were completely out of uh, nowhere back in, in the 1970s. This was before almost any gay characters appeared on television. You had an NFL player, former NFL player coming out of the closet. Today, Dave is uh, he's a huge donor to the University of Washington where he played college football. He lives in Los Angeles and is still a huge uh, football fan. One other guy I wanted to uh, let people know about is Bill Tilden. Back in the 1920s and 30s, Bill Tilden was one of the greatest tennis players. Well, he was the greatest tennis player of all time at the time. He remains one of the greatest today. His winning percentage, his match winning percentage was over 93%. That means for every 15 matches he participated in, he lost one. That's his career win percentage. He went on to win seven U.S. Opens. Uh, there were, he, would, he would have won a lot more, but there were, it was a time when you had to pick between being professional and playing in Wimbledon and, and, and tournaments like that. Today, athletes can do both. Bill Tilden was, we you know now, secretly gay. And unfortunately, he was arrested a couple of times for soliciting sex with minors. He was a friend of a lot of celebrities. He lived in Hollywood, he lived a lavish life. But even in Hollywood in the 1940s, homosexuality was not okay. And Bill was, uh, he was discarded by most of his friends in Hollywood, certainly by the sport. He couldn't get any jobs coaching or teaching. And fortunately he died penniless a few years later after making tons of money playing tennis. He's one of the greatest tennis players of all time and he was gay. The struggles we face today as LGBTQ people, you look at what he faced and it was a hundred times worse. And if it wasn't for guys like Bill Tilden and Dave Cope coming out in the 1930s or 1940s or being outed the way 
Tilden was, or coming out as Copay did in the 1970s, we would not be where we are today. So when you talk about all the great progress we've made, think about those two guys. Think about Bill Tilden and Dave Copay, and also Jerry Smith. And in your own quiet way, maybe send them uh, a word of thanks. I'll be continuing these kind of these, a series of these kinds of videos over the next month. So keep checking back on Outsports for more history of LGBTQ people in sports.